Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Lawrence Mwamba and welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks for coming through. And if you are new, do subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so that you are notified every time I have a new video uploaded. So we are looking at another trending story about another Zambian music icon known as Mulaza Kaira, also known as Makitu or Flavor Boy, others call him DJ Booga. He's one of the most dominant Zambian musicians we've had since, since time in memorial. He's given us the Zambian people amazing great hit songs like Maminous and other amazing songs. Now, just recently, this photo flagged the internet that Makitu had been arrested for murder. I was like, what? It can't be true. Then I read through the story. It sounded like a true story. Again, I was doubting, you know. Then boom, Makitu decided to issue a statement about the entire fracas on social media on his Facebook page. So let's take a look at this video as Makitu explains that he's not in any police custody and whichever story is going around on social media is fake and a lie. In the video, he also assures the Zambian people, his fans, that pretty soon he will be dropping something for them. Let's watch the video. Um, anyway, um, it has come to my attention that there's a rumor flying around that uh, I'm in the jukes. How can I be in the jukes? Anyway, um, as you can see, I'm around. I'm actually just um, in my car at my house because um, it's noisy in the in the house, so I decided to do this on my side. Besides, I want to show people my house. <coughs> I hope you guys you guys have had an amazing day, and um, we have something special coming out this week. I hope you guys um, will check that out. Meantime, um, I just want to let you guys know that I'm safe. I'm not anywhere in a police cell. Those rumors are fake. As usual, my Shwaband, Facebook, especially if it's sad news or it's anything that looks negative, then obviously it's going to fly like bushfire, you know what I mean? But, um, we're good and um, safe, quarantining and staying home most of the time. Um, usually I just move from like my house to, to the studio and I go to the studio because like it's not open to the public so it's just like um, me and one other person. We're taking all the necessary precautions. We're wearing masks every time we leave the house. We're sanitizing every now and then. And social distancing. So, Ruth, what's going on? Charlie, you're trying to move on now. We should have to go to the post. I'm going to have to go to the post. I'm going to have to go to the post. Why should I have to go to the post? Um, yeah, I'm working on a project and um, the project had like a number of police officers in, 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 the, in involved in it and that's why that guy, little picture. Initially, it was supposed to be something that was going to be like a, like a pleasant surprise. But yeah, now I have to, you know, do this live feed and really clarify that. Hey, guys. 
actually not in the chooks. Monga, what's up? Mutale muila shan munto and um I hope you guys are good. Um before the end of the month I'm putting out two projects. One we're putting it out um this coming week. It's a song that's called um why should I even tell you the song? I think let me not tell you the song for now. But we we about to bring Flavor Boy back. We're about to bring Flavor Boy back. Um, so it's a song that uh, features. Um, Zach says, so what are you going to do to DJ Sosta? What does DJ Sosta do now? So where are you? You live in the car at night. You stay in the car. Like, what kind of retarded shit is that? Brian, there's a photo going around on social media of you being in police custody. That's what I've been trying to explain to you guys. That's a project that we're doing. I'm, I'm, I'm working on a project with Zambia Police, and that picture is from is from that same project. Um, I'm not into publicity stunts, so that's not a publicity stunt. It's just a picture I leaked. It wasn't even supposed to leak, but yeah, sometimes you can't control what's going to happen. So. Anyway, um, thank you so much to everybody that tuned in, everybody that um, got concerned when they saw the picture going around, everybody that felt um, um, some type of way about it, but um, don't believe everything you read on social media, man. Make sure you have, like, um, uh, clarifications. Find that is the so um yeah um shout out to everybody that uh, cared enough to even call me or text me or, or whatsapp me to find out whether i'm okay i'm all good um it's only that i was doing some stuff at zmbc like in the afternoon so uh, when most of you try to call me um, unfortunately i couldn't couldn't um, pick up because my phone was silent and I'm sure at some point it even went off but I'm good I'm good none of that stuff is true um Jacqueline what's up Mata Rita what's good I know that Chan Moon Twant Christopher what's good So anyway, before I go, anyone with actual questions that I'd, they would want me to answer about anything, like upcoming projects, anything apart from this picture circulating on Facebook. Uh, Vemo says, spend more time here. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. I'll definitely try and go live maybe once or twice a week. At this preacher, go interact with you know, I go by that style. Lainey, what's going on? Hope your family is blessed. Yeah, my family is blessed. Everyone is good. Um, Joseph Peterson went to it. But what is she going to do? I'm a blogger. But I'm going to tell you my stories. I'm going to tell you. You don't know. But I'm going to tell you. 
Prince says, when are you getting a collaboration with Slap? When are you getting the Slap D collaboration out? Um, I've actually done like a couple projects with Slap. And, um, I can't really say when he's putting them out. Um, I can only speak for the stuff that's on my end. And sometimes you record stuff and... It has to be put out at the right time. Talk about the oro tupa gafta afwa. Maru fumisha mau pa mno royango. Mo projects you are recording if you are So you know what I mean. Like every single day, I go to the studio and record some stuff. So not everything comes out like now. There's a lot of stuff that we've recorded that will come out maybe in five years or in ten years. You know that sort of thing. We've recorded enough stuff. Um, the first time we made the beat for I Declare was in 2016. Chester only recorded in 2017. Now me and Bobby only recorded in 20 in 2020. You know what I mean? So neither in a studio or whatever. We record a lot of stuff, but not everything comes out at that particular time. Um, Marianne Joyce Lund, what's going on? Flavor Boy, what happened? Your blessings, Jay. We're about to bring Flavor Boy back. Flavor Boy is coming back soon. Um, Chance says, do a song with Muzo, aka Alphonse. Um, making music is about, is about, you need to have some sort of chemistry, you know what I mean? You need to have some sort of vibe. It's not just about, you know, making music because you'd make a great song or making music because it makes uh, business sense but there needs to be some sort of vibe there needs to be some sort of connection to make a good collaboration so when that time comes again we'll definitely make a song with Musa but for now I don't think that's there um, Alberto says when are you dropping a hardcore hip hop joint um, I'm a businessman and um, I make what's going to sell, what's going to put food on my plate. You know, the Ghetto President album had like three, four f hip hop joints and none of those songs were supported the way I thought they would be supported. You know, so um, if I make a Dunka joint and it makes me money, guess what I'm going to make? I'm gonna make a lot more Dunka joints. You know what I mean? A lot of people talk about hip hop and they don't even support it like that. Recently I just did a song with like TAP called uh, Mukalibegu and people didn't even support it like that. My brother King Illis has got an old star joint for that um, Majende remix and people didn't even support it like that. So. Um, um people talk about hip hop when they're not even supporting it like that which hip hop artist like a strict hip hop artist that has been supported to an extent where like he's even able to to like compete we have a lot of hip hop artists that are not being supported so what are you talking about um It's good you've talked about flavor, but I really miss him. What's next after I declare challenge? Obviously, the whole I declare challenge was disturbed by this whole COVID-19 thing. But hopefully, after things settle down a bit, we're also going to pick like two, three winners and uh, sponsor some music for them. Also, um, organize some features for them and just put out like... Uh, official singles for them um, hopefully we do that soon but we're just waiting for things to stabilize a bit before we continue um, Malambo says any plans for joining the film industry definitely man definitely um, 
I don't think there's a song that I can sing for this market really that will really shock the world and be like, eh, but so no, you know, I'm gonna watch that much. But there's definitely more um, um, things I can do in the film industry. So yeah, um, hopefully later this year or next year this year we'll have something playing on like some basic magic or even Netflix. Any collaboration with Mumbai? Um, yeah, I've got a, a song on the Ghetto Prison album called uh, Ami Wamo and um, uh, hopefully we'll work on more stuff this year. Watching from the UK. To Regina, what's up? What's going on? Thanks a lot, man. Richard Chiwe. What other business are you involved in apart from music? I'm into real estate. I'm into construction. I'm into events management. But mostly it's music, man. Music is my first love and I'll probably always do it. Um, I met your friend Dandy in North Me today. Oh, okay. When are you making an international collaboration? I think I just did an international collaboration with uh, T-Shot. Ololo <laughs> Kadiolo. Oh man. Anyway, um, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, thank you so much for asking all this to my questions. Um, I did my best to answer as many as I can. Um, but I just wanted to come through and clarify that hey guys, I'm safe and all those to my rumors that you're seeing on Facebook are, are fake I'm good um, Felix Chansachan Muntu Andilaka Henry Mumba Jr. And Prince Kunda You and your maps we make good collab when are you doing another song together? Me and your maps have actually recorded a number of songs and it's all about the right time. I believe in perfect timing. I, I believe in assessing the market before you even put out anything. Um, uh, someone asks. Then so na shan muntu and luck. Zax, it's been long since you sang with Dandy. Any plans of singing with you on the coming projects? Me and Dandy actually have a project. Though I don't think it's, it'll come out anytime soon. The projects that we have lined up are going to be epic. They're really going to be epic. Um, K Nation. One gospel this year, we're definitely putting out a gospel joint. In fact, one of the two songs that we're about to put out, one is a love joint, one is a gospel joint. But you love the gospel joint because it's not like your typical um, cliche gospel joints. It's really something that I think is powerful and will make things seem in a different light. Uh, would love to have a conversation with you after COVID. Jaffets, definitely. Just hit me up, man. We can make it happen. Um, Julius, okay, thanks. And God bless you and good night. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, anyway, from the bottom of my heart, um, thank you so much, guys, for having my back all these years. Um, for the ones that uh, just joined us, yeah, if you're going to beat them, join them. Um, you're welcome. You came late to the party, but you're welcome. And yeah, um, thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Ble <laughs> Mark Achanamun to Andirak. Mo 
Austin, what's good? Inbox me and we'll talk about that. Fortune, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. We're just on a channel moon to undrop. Uh, Piri Tim said I should do a song with Rough Kid. Yeah, Rough Kid is actually supposed to send me some stuff. Um, so I'm sure um, very soon I'll have a song with Rough Kid. Elijah Shan Muntuan, Jesus is for everybody. Yeah, shout out to my boy Danny. Aaron Shan Muntuan, Tilak. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's, a, it's a little too late. Um, thank you so much for, for coming through, for tuning in, and really appreciate it. Um, one last thing before I go, if you don't, um, you haven't subscribed to my YouTube ac account, go on YouTube and search for Market Tool Music and subscribe, subscribe, press the red button, subscribe. Um, the more subscribers I have, the more I'm encouraged to put out more content, more visuals for my work. So please subscribe. Thank you so much. You have a good night. And don't forget to pray before you sleep. Bless. So there you have it. Makitu has dismissed all the rumors about him being in police custody for whatever case people made up, you know. And later on began interacting with his fans, promising them that Flavor Boy will be back. He's gonna work on more amazing projects. Yeah, so it was just awesome like that i mean why would somebody make up such an ugly story about somebody with a big name like that what's your intention hey some people are really evil you know they would really try their level best to just kill down your name and just take you back to zero thanks much appreciated thanks mark 2 for clearing the wind in fact i'm a put mark 2's youtube channel link in the description you can check it out let's support our own zambian music icons and everybody that is doing fine let's stop the hating you know it ain't taking us nowhere thanks for watching do leave a comment in the comment section below subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so hit the bell and do share the video I am